This is the morning weather update. This is for Thursday, the 28th of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather, dry today, dry this weekend, dry next week. Of course, concern is for increasing drought conditions statewide. We'll get the new drought monitor in later this morning. Let's take a look at the upper air look as we start the day. And we have troughing that is over the eastern states, an upper low that's well to the north. But that's simply going to pull down some drier air. And again, uh, nothing happening on radar this morning. We have some showers in the Gulf of Mexico offshore and showers north of Interstate 40 up in North Tennessee, but nothing happening here. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s over the northern half of the state. We do note Pell City has 59. Mostly low 70s down in South Alabama. Mobile at 73 to start the day. Very quiet weather across the country again today. That's the watch warning map. We note flash flood watches in effect for parts of southern Kentucky. No organized severe weather expected today. That's the day one severe weather outlook. Tomorrow got a marginal risk over parts of Minnesota and the adjacent states. And day three, which is Saturday. Again, no organized severe weather expected. Here's a look at rain for the next seven days. And for Alabama, we just can't buy a decent shower. This is the rain valley through Thursday morning of next week. Maybe a little bit over the Tennessee Valley toward Thursday of next week, but again, most of the state without a drop. In the tropics, we have a couple of items on the board. Tropical Storm Philippe and Invest 91L, which is the trailing system, and these are really not in a hurry to move. The uh, steering currents are very weak out in that area. Uh, Philippe will be drifting to the west-southwest and then ultimately becoming a remnant low uh, by late Sunday or Sunday night. Uh, because of the slow motion, Hurricane Center has the position still east of the northern Leeward Islands. And concerning Invest 91L, almost every ensemble member, and this is the super ensemble, you got the European, UK Met, the GFS, Canadian, out to sea. Nothing near the Gulf of Mexico for the next seven days. Model fans, this is the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at four. And again, uh, broad troughing over the east, a drier air mass, and a sunny day. Highs in the 80s. Just for the fun of it, we'll check the high-resolution HER model, valid this evening at 6 o'clock, and you can see nothing. So tomorrow's sunny and warm. Great night for high school football tomorrow night. Saturday is sunny day. We might see some spots hitting 90. Temperatures will stay above average. I'd say highs 85 to 90. And the same thing on Sunday. And next week, I wish I could promise some rain, but nope, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. So this is a week from today, Thursday, the 5th of October, and we do note the uh, GFS continues the idea of a long wave trough uh, west of the state with rain falling in places like Little Rock, Memphis, Jackson, Mississippi, Shreveport, and just maybe that trough will bring us a chance of rain toward the end of next week, but Thursday still looks dry. So let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday, the 7th of October. And the GFS advertising this big long wave trough over the eastern states. And if that is right, that will pull down some noticeably cooler air at that time. And we're starting to see some support from the ensembles and the Europeans. So just maybe if we don't get a lot of rain from this, and we probably won't, we'll see a nice uh, shot of cooler air in about 10 days or so. This is rain for Birmingham coming off the uh, European Ensemble. Not much between now and the 13th of October. The mean is under one half inch. And you can see why there's concern for increasing drought conditions. But again, like we've talked about in recent days, when we get into November, that begins the tornado season here. And we typically see frequent rain producing systems and big thermal contrast and thunderstorms. So uh, while October is almost always dry, uh, November will be here before you know it. And temperatures coming off the NBM National Blend of Models. This is for Birmingham. Your number could vary. Notice we might be flirting with 90, uh, really, for the next several days. Now, today we've got 83, but then 
upper 80s for Friday and the weekend. But notice on Sunday, October 8th, the high dropping to 78, the low dropping to 57. So, again, that's just a sign of maybe that trough will bring some cooler air in about 10 days. But the Climate Prediction Center says no. Uh, This is their 8 to 14 day guidance. This is for October 5th through the 11th. Above average for the east with a ridge. And we'll see if they make that adjustment in their forecast later today. So on this date a year ago, we had Hurricane Ian that was coming into and made landfall around uh, Fort Myers Beach. And uh, it was determined that Ian was at one point a Category 5 right before landfall. And of course, the damage there was catastrophic. And again, that's a reminder that this still is the peak of the hurricane season. But again, the Gulf very quiet for now. This cow wanted to be on the video this morning. Glad to make that happen. A cow, a good sunset. You know we'll pick that one. And this dog taking a boat ride, watching the sunset, wanted to be on the video this morning. Looking good. But once again, a glorious sunset. Sun going now a little after 6.30 in the evening. I think people are very much noticing that the Amount of daylight is certainly shrinking up. And we do do the time change, by the way, in early November. We'll go back on the standard time. How about the moon last night? That was a moonlit landscape. And a peek at the uh, big moon over the Gulf Coast last night. The moon last night was 95% illuminated. The full moon, which will be a super moon, will be Friday night. And again, uh, that... uh, Will probably be a clear sky. Should be a great night for a moon viewing. So that's going to do it for the uh, video here this morning. We'll have notes over on the blog, alabamawx.com. And uh, this morning, headed up to Madison County. I'm going to see the kids at Central School near Huntsville. Tomorrow, a homeschool group in the Birmingham Metro. And then tomorrow evening, we'll be live at Pleasant Grove High School for the Friday Night Rivals game of the week. Uh, that'll be uh, live on my 68 at 7. I'll be on ABC 3340 at 4, 5, and 6. Blitz game day on my 68 at 630. Saturday, it's a book signing. want to see you there. The Alabama Biscuit Company at their location on Rocky Ridge Road in Vestavia. We're going to be there from 9 to noon. Our new children's book is out, Benny and Chipper, The Wonder of Thunder. It's the follow-up to the original Benny and Chipper called Prepared Not Scared. It's great for kids. Uh, It's targeted for those kindergarten through fourth grade. And if they love weather, maybe you're a little afraid of storms. It's written for them. Of course, we'll have um, All You Can Do is Pray, which is the book all about April 27, 2011, our generational tornado outbreak, uh, Weathering Life. We'll have all the T-shirts and the weather dweeb stuff, the hats, so... Come see us. We have a lot of fun, take a lot of pictures, and we'd love to see you there. That's the Alabama Biscuit Company on Rocky Ridge Road in Vestavia, 9 to noon on Saturday. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.